This is John Paul Rice, some people call me. Today, talking about Burger King and how there is some spoilers for The Rise of Skywalker in some Burger King products. As you can see, I got my Christmas stuff up, and in Japan, we celebrate Christmas. And for Christmas, we eat fried chicken. It's a tradition here of decades. I couldn't get a reservation in KFC on Christmas Day. So I guess it's supermarket fried chicken. <laughs> anyway, this article is kind of interesting. So yeah, I probably have to say it's kind of interesting, or why would I be making the video? <laughs> All right, here we go. So as you could see from Bounding into Comics, our good friends, I suppose, Burger King Ed allegedly spoils the ending of The Rise of Skywalker, and okay, pretty interesting. Yeah, I said interesting twice. It's interesting, guys. I promise it's interesting. Please keep watching. All right, here we go. Here we really go. A German Burger King ad has allegedly spoiled the end of the upcoming Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker film. The ad posted to the Star Wars Leaks subreddit shows a Star Wars fans faced with a dilemma. They have to choose between eating a burger meal and receiving spoilers for the film or not eating Burger King and not getting spoilers. That was confusing. I'll do both. I'll get Burger King and I'll take the spoilers too. So we see some ads here on their YouTube channel. I'm not going to play the full ad for you guys because, I don't know, it just doesn't look like we'd have so much fun sitting here watching Burger King ads. But let's read what they translated to. Every product name on the menu board, every name tag, straw, chips, and even the WLAN password contained spoilers. The product packaging was also provided with hidden spoilers. Some were even recited when opening a sound chip. All right, okay, I don't think I said WLAN. That must be a mess up on my part, but I don't think anyone's counting. So they say, of course, the spoilers are not actually confirmed by Disney in so many words. Let's get to one. You mean the young villain turns to the bright side? That's a pretty big spoiler. After being defeated by the young sword lady. You know, we, we know that Rey's gonna beat Kylo and Palpatine and Oh man, that, that's such a mess. I'm going to talk about it at some point before the movie comes out. The death of the young sword leader's parents was ordered. Okay, that's interesting. By the hoodie villain. Right, so Palpatine killed her parents. How original. I'd like the young sword lady is the grandchild. Well, we knew that one. So, I mean, yeah, if Burger King's saying she's the grandchild, some other leaks are saying she's the grandchild of Palpatine then, I mean, these leaks are really matching up and coming together, so it's like 95% that most of these leaks at least are true. The blonde general is killed for freeing the prisoners. I guess someone kills Hawks. <laughs> Sorry, spoilers! The young villain dies, so I guess that confirms Kylo Ren dies. Of course Kylo Ren dies. They can't kill Poe Finn or Rey because they're the Disney heroes. You know, that would be original. People keep saying, oh, do something original with Star Wars. You know, that's good. The Last Jedi is original. Well, here, do something original. Kill Rey. She doesn't come back. Actually, she doesn't even die as a hero. Maybe people think Rey's the villain and she dies with a spoiled legacy. That would be really, really original. I don't know. Have Poe and Finn die. That would be original. You know what wouldn't be original? Having Kylo Ren die, because he's the villain. So never, ever, ever come around here and say, Disney's trying something new. Complete load of bullshit. And the hairy, roaring creature is accidentally killed by the young sword lady, but actually survives. So, like, Chewie gets wounded somehow at Rey's hand. Excellent. Sounds like an amazing Star Wars movie theater experience that, well, <laughs> everyone's going to love. Anyway, I've got some very mixed feelings on The Rise of Skywalker, which I'll probably make one full, like, 100% honest video on it sometime before the release of it, and I'll save that for that video. For this video, we're talking about Burger King, Kylo Ren, stuff like that. I fell asleep today at, like, 9 o'clock without realizing it, and I woke up at, like, 2 a.m., and I realized I didn't get a video up, so I had to get one up, and I did, and here I am, and... I can't do a shout out because when I do, I like need my cell phone. All right, make an excuse. I'm too tired. I'm too lazy to do a shout out, but you will get a lot of shouts on this channel. Click that subscribe button if you haven't, and I will see you next time.
you are not subscribed to this channel, The Entertainment Hacker, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button now.